Guten Tag, meine Damen und Herren. This is Das Gregor with another fun, exciting story about living in Germany. Today, I'm going to talk about my trip to Russia, the black market, Red Square, and the Russian circus. All, hopefully in less than 10 minutes and preferably around 5 minutes. So, let's get started, shall we? In 1990, I was in ROTC, and we took a trip to Moscow. This is a very exciting trip for me. We went by bus from Stuttgart to Berlin. And then by Berlin to Moscow, we flew on the Great Lufthansa. When we were in Russia, we got to do many interesting things. One thing we got to do was go to the Russian circus. We were given a choice one night. Do you want to go to the Russian circus or the Russian ballet? Well, as a teenager, neither one sounded good, but as a teenager, who was going to be caught at the ballet? So we got to go to the Russian circus. Now I expected to see all kinds of Russian bears, trained animals, all kinds of things, because I've heard a lot of good things about the great Russian circus. No such luck. Maybe a few trained dogs and monkeys, some synchronized swimmers, a high wire act, it was very disappointing, but oh well. Another night, some of the guys and I decided that we were going to go to see the changing of the guard at Lenin's tomb at midnight. So we jumped on the streetcar to go to Red Square. And we got there, and we went to Lenin's tomb, and it was just about midnight, and we stood and we watched the changing of the guard at Lenin's tomb at midnight. But this is not the end of my great story of my time in Russia. For during that time I wanted a Russian fur hat. And to get a Russian fur hat you could get it two ways. In the Russian stores or in the Russian American exchange store. Unfortunately, because I was American, I was not allowed to get this rat in the Russian stores. I had to go to an American exchange store. The bad thing is, it cost 60 rubles. Now, on the economy, it was 6 rubles to a dollar, so it's $10. At the Russian exchange store, it is a dollar eighty to one ruble. So, my $10 hat turned into over $100. And I was not going to do this. And now, back to being at Red Square at midnight. After the changing of the guard, a man walks up to us in the middle of the night. And he finds out very quickly we're American. And so he opens up a bag and he says, You trade with me. I have good Russian stuff. Trading was a big thing back then. They didn't want guns and drugs and all these other things. They wanted blue jeans, Levi, Levi blue jeans, very good, bubblegum, ballpoint pens, things like that, and the great American dollar. But they weren't allowed these things, or at least they weren't allowed American dollars at that time. So I look into his bag, and he has a Russian hat, exactly what I want. And I ask him how much, and he says, I, oh, ten dollar. I said, oh, I don't want to give him a dollar. I don't want to give him dollars. I want to give him rubles because I, I, I know it's black market what, but I don't want to give him dollars. So I say, I give him 60 rubles. No, no, $10. All right, fine. So I give him $10. We change. I get the hat. We walk away. About this time, Russian police, they come up to the compound into Red Square, and they stop this man. They question him, they pull out his wallet, they take out the American currency that he has, they throw him into the police car, and they circle around back to us. I'm sweating, I'm going to go to jail, I'm going to go to Russian jail. And they stop, they check a look at us, and they talk to us, they find out we're American, and da, uh, one and one, American dollars, Russian with American dollars that don't make, he's not supposed to. I'm surprised, but they did not arrest us. Instead, they just say some bad stuff about Americans and run off. We go back to our hotel, I'm safe. Now, 
this is a very interesting story to me because I've always felt that somebody is out to get me and that this Russian hat is the cause to all of my trouble but I don't think they're going to find me now because nobody knows where I am Oh well, that's just all part of the drama. So that was my trip to Russia. I had an interesting time. We saw many things. We got to do many things. And it's a neat place to visit if you ever get to go to Moscow. Just to say that I've been to Moscow. The food wasn't very good there. So I apologize if you're Russian and you're watching this because I'm sorry. Uh, the food not, was not very good. Uh, but maybe it's changed in the last 15 to 20 years. Who knows? But the scenery was great, the great churches were wonderful to see, uh, Red Square was definitely something that was interesting. Um, it makes you really appreciate what you have in the Western Hemisphere um, when you see the long lines of people at stores waiting for soap and things that are so hard to get over there that we just take for granted because we just go to any store, pick what we want, pay for it and leave. It was a, definitely an eye-opener for Russia, for me. So, I hope you enjoyed my story. Maybe I'll talk about it a little bit more. We'll see if I have any questions. Um, until then, tschüss, auf Wiedersehen, arrivederci. Have a good day, good night, good morning, whatever you're having. Have it. Talk to you later.